Ma'am. Yes. Hi, Ashwin. Hi, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, right now I'm completely stuck up in site. Site, yeah. As a site engineer. I mean. Okay. But whereas my passion, my profession, I want to become a structure engineer. But seeing my position right now, I don't think so. I'll be able to go. But at the same time, I have learned E tabs and Stat Pro. Okay. But I'm not getting the exact knowledge what to do. But at the same time, when I heard about you, people placed many people, many students into the particular field. So tell me what to do. I want to get into structure engineering. And okay. this is my resume. Okay, Ashwin, let me have a look. Yes, but before I have a look at this, I would like to tell you that ETABS and Stat Pro is not equal to structural design engineer job. And seeing your CV, you know, the only... Uh, uh, skill sets you have written here are some softwares but what the industry demands is a experience yes. the real experience and let me tell you structures is a very niche field you know it is a judgmental science and it takes some time for you to get the judgment and that level of experience in order to become a structural design engineer. So it is not something you can acquire just by learning ETABS or AutoCAD or uh, STAD Pro. This is something, uh, you know, to become a structural design engineer, you will have to first pursue three P's. First, of course, is passion, which you have. I can see you want to del desperately become a structural engineer. So passion is there, but now you need patience and practice patience to practice these three p's will actually help you to become a structural design engineer and if i analyze your one page cv i'm just seeing certain softwares but to become a structural design engineer you need four parameters now what are those four parameters the first one is structural fundamental based knowledge second one is your code based knowledge so indian and international codes also you can know yes. and third one is software based knowledge and fourth one is your project based knowledge all put together will give you a judgment to attempt a project and deliver a project from start to end and only after such skills and such projects and that kind of experience is added to your resume your cv your portfolio you can enter into the job market of structures just to even get shortlisted for a job you need certain level of expertise which i'm clearly seeing missing in your resume and that's the reason i think you're stuck up in the site job and i would like to say that many civil engineers are thinking it if you learn etabs and stat pro you will get a job but please note this is an open secret i'm telling you etabs and stat pro etabs or stat pro is not equal to structural design engineering job okay. now you may ask me then what is structural design engineering yes, job literally yeah yes. so let me show you some of the portfolios of our trainees whom we place not only in india but abroad also oh, wow. let's get started sure ma'am yeah Now, Yashwant, let me show you a portfolio of one of our student. Okay, so this is the home page, and uh, these are most of the projects which he has done. He has just put it as a summary on the very first page, which is the cover page. Here, he has written the details of the projects that he did with us when he was working with us for seven months, and these are the area of expertise. You can see the right kind of keywords are required in your portfolio. Then only nowadays the resumes are also shortlisted by software, so right kind of keywords will also help you in getting shortlisted. The right kind of keywords like see footing column rcc structure element then here certain right kind of keywords are there and right kind of software names are there which will actually make you a uh, shortlisted for any interview now this is the portfolio you can see the next page he has written what software skills he has what codal provisions he has done and these are some of the keywords which he has written uh, related to the structures line apart from this you can see these are this is the summary of the project okay. This portfolio which I'm showing you is not the main portfolio, but this is something like a summary. So you can see just the project, how he has represented. He has written what kind of analysis did he has done, what kind of checks he performed, what loads considered, what material used, what is the project detail, foundation system details and checks performed. So these are the kind of details which you have to put for the project 
to show to the employer that you know the things from start to end. So this is, I'll just quickly take you through, these are the various projects done by one of our other uh, trainee at eConstruct. So many. So many, yes. And the duration also, all over India, these projects are there. So these people, these trainees were also freshers when they come to us. They are not really having that much experience in structures. But you see, by looking at this, will you call him a fresher? No, absolutely no, ma'am. Do you think he will get, uh, uh, at least he will get, you know, shortlisted for the project? This is a 32 story, you can see this. Okay. And this project is again 32 story and overhead tank, UG tanks, these kind of projects also they have done. And these are some of the papers published by him during his college days. These are different projects again. He has put along with the, this thing and of course, we help you to give our references. You can see here he has given Sandeep sir's reference. We help with that, your references, your background verification check also we help oh, once you get a job. So this is the kind of portfolio. Now Yashwant, now Yashwant tell me, this is your CV, one page CV. You are applying for structured job with this kind of skill sets. Do you think with this kind of skill sets, you will be able to compete with the experienced people in the market or the master study trainees who are already there in the market? Do you think no. you'll stand a chance? No. So that's the answer. The answer is gain right kind of skill sets and you can easily enter into the market. And if you're thinking that job opportunities are not there, let me tell you, it's not just that you are looking, you are searching a job. I would say those companies also need you. They need, companies are in need of skilled people. Actually, they are searching you. The question is, are you ready with the skill sets? Okay. Yeah. So that's, uh, so that's the, I think, I hope I answered your question. Yes, I showed you two portfolios and I hope you got an idea about what needs to be done yes, going further. Completely, ma'am. Got it. Yeah. Ashwant, a portfolio of a trainee of eConstruct who completed this master study in structural engineering course. Okay, this is the portfolio, this is the covering letter, and this is the professional experience. The biggest mistake freshers are doing is they want to apply for structures job, their passion is structures, and they do BTEC and they try for structures job, they do not get it because they don't have the right kind of skill sets, right kind of experience. Now what happens, they think that let me do MTech structures, am I right Yashwan? Yes ma'am. Yeah? Yes, so BTEC is over, let's do MTech structures. After doing MTech structures also many people are still stuck inside jobs yes, or not even able to get shortlisted for the interview. So that situation happens even after doing MTech. The reason is people think let me learn certain softwares, let me get a job. But now and, and one more thing, the wrong combinations, if you learn wrong combination of softwares, for example, some people learn ETAPs, they don't bother to learn SAFE. So Sandeep sir always gives a very funny example, you know that shirt hai, pant nahi, pant hai, shirt nahi. Substructure aata hai, superstructure nahi, superstructure aata hai, substructure nahi. So and another example, some, some people know STAT Pro, but they do not know STAT Foundation. So correct combination of software skill set is also very important. Randomly learning the software is not going to help you to get a structures job. Now in this CV you can see there are certain softwares and there are projects. The main reason you can enter into the industry is the real project which you can um, which you can do from start to end. Now you can see this, certain technical expertise are there. They are able to do the steel analysis and design. They are able to do the bill of quantities, PB analysis and design, manual design, then uh, ductile and ordinary detailing using AutoCAD, value engineering for economical design. These are some of the skill sets. And apart from that, there is a code based knowledge, Indian and international codes both. And then comes the attempting all the projects. You can just see the kind of projects our trainees have done. These are the uh, high-rise structure projects from Mumbai. Initially, we start with small assignments, G plus 1, G plus 2, G plus 4, and slowly you will go up to G plus 24, G plus 30, G plus 40 as well. Now, this is another type of a project, 2 lakh liter capacity tank, which are one of our trainee has done along with eConstruct. Then, uh, this is another underground UG tank. This is another overhead tank project. 
and these kind of projects in which they have worked on RCC, they worked on steel structures, composite structures, this is just one portfolio, but there are many students who have done RCC, steel, composite structures with us. And only thing which will give you a job in structures is experience. Ma'am, but in order to do that, who will give me experience, ma'am? See, Yashwant, I can tell you that eConstruct can be that first company which will give you your first break in structures. You can work under the guidance of Mr. Sandeep who has 20 years plus experience. He has designed up to 81 story structure and he has unlimited structures license. And recently we have opened an uh, office in Dubai as you, um, uh, you must be aware. So there are job opportunities not only in India but especially in UAE and any other part of the world. The question is, do you have the skill sets? That's the question. Yes, ma'am. I uh, want to go okay. that. So I, and the next question which you have been saying that who will give me my first break? Because I have been telling you, you need experience to enter into the job market of structures. That experience can be given by our technical team. And under the guidance of Sandeep sir, of course, you can definitely, I guarantee you, you can become a structural design engineer. So. You are welcome to eConstruct to join master study in structural engineering and you will have a portfolio like this and you can confidently enter into the job market. There won't be any hitch in entering into the job market. Not only in India but abroad. So did I answer your question? Yes ma'am. Uh, Ma'am, when it comes for the projects, right, uh, yeah. let it be live, I mean the live projects, whatever I'll be working. Will I be working only for the Indian projects or even uh, worldwide projects? See, we uh, recently got one of the projects from Africa also. And we have already done so many projects from Canada, Oman, UAE. Recently opened an office in UAE. So, you will not only work on Indian projects, but also international projects. Oh, super. And it's not only just RCC, but you will do RCC, steel structure, composite structures. Oh. So you will get complete 360 degree, uh, whatever is required to become a structural design engineer. Everything has been put up in this course very uh, minutely by Sandeep sir. And he has personally designed it and it is a proven and tested. Because see, there are thousands of students who passed out from eConstruct. And today they are on very high positions in MNCs. You can see the yes. list of companies, Atkins, Ramball, Tata Consultancy, uh, Mott, and uh, uh, Bureau Hapold, these kind of companies have hired our structural engineers. I guarantee you will make a successful career under the guidance of Mr. Sandeep with our technical um, team. Yes ma'am, literally after getting to know all these things, I'm getting the energy right now. So okay. I'll definitely come join. Thank so, you. Thank, thank you. you Thank you. So I would like to tell our subscribers that if you are looking forward to start career as a structural engineer, if you're stuck in sight and no matter how many years experience you have, it's never too late to start even if you have 10 years site experience and now you're thinking to learn structures for your passion it's never too late to follow your passion to pursue your passion and eConstruct platform will help you to jump from your site job to structures or you're already in structures and planning to upgrade for international jobs then also we can help you and there are many people many students who call us who were preparing for government exam and they have already passed certain time like three years four years some have passed even more than five years preparing for government jobs and did not get into the government job for such candidates also i would like to tell you eConstruct is the only platform which can give you your first break first experience in the field of structures or bim or uh, project management so join master study learning programs today all the details are there in the comment box and the description box of this video and you can also meet us one to one person you can meet me you can meet sandeep sir in zoom meeting and also solve all and also get one to one career counseling don't wait further pack your bags come to bangalore for an offline master study training program the batch is starting in just two weeks thank you